Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't had a chance to do so by now, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And to go a step further, I humbly ask that you tap that notification bell. That way you'll be updated each and every time I'm uploading something new. Also, make sure you're following me on Instagram at YB Speaks, as well as my business page at Tika Naturals. And uh, hit that TikTok at YB Speaks. Um, girl, before we get into the things, um, hit up that Tika Naturals, girl. Um, a shout out to a loyal, loyal, loyal customer. Um, I ended up making an order for him. And I have uh, a few things left over. So, from my older menu, uh, the cucumber sprite, um, sugar scrub, um, a few oils. Um, so, I no longer have the just the hair oil or just the skin oil. I decided to go ahead and just call it the unity oil. Girl, you can use it for your skin. You can use it for your hair. It's unity oil, girl. It brings all things together. Okay, at least that's the tagline. Hello, God. <laughs> Bitch. So, um, I do have some items. Uh, you know, I was like, I made a bunch of shit. So, um, if you guys want to, um, hit me up at the Tika Naturals at uh, gmail.com and uh, to inquire about what I have left. And if you would like to purchase, please feel free to do so. I have a few sugar scrubs. I think I have one or two body butters. Um, not much. I think I have like three oils, so not much stuff, but you know, they are for sale. Um, I would like to get rid of them if I can. So if you're interested, hit me up, you know, on the Instagram or the Gmail. Amen. Oh girl. So, um, girl, that's what you get for parking under a tree. And the weather down here has been nasty as hell lately. Like, really unpredictable, but it's Florida, girl. We're so close to the Bermuda Triangle. I, I'm, I, I always get surprised that we're surprised that Florida just has the craziest, you know, weather phenomenons. It, it's just weird to me that, that we, we get weirded out by that. Because, girl, I, I'm born and raised here. So, it's like, girl, whatever. Period. But anyway, I am down here. Um, my nephew has an away game. Um, this is like, they have like three more games after this and then it'll be the end of their season. Um, so I'm just down here. They didn't have school today. So, um, shit, took him to get a haircut. Um, dropped him off at the school to prep for, you know, they had to get shit ready to come down here for their game. And uh, I went to the gym. I'm proud of myself and going to the gym every single day, every single day, and just getting it in. Five pounds down. Hello, God. So happy about that. Um, yeah, I went back home, took a shower, got dressed, came down here, and I was like, you know, let me do a video. Um, so my nephew's birthday is on Monday, y'all. He's turning 18. And I mean, you know, like <laughs> for those that don't know, um, I don't think I ever said this publicly, but I guess some of you watch me enough where you could surmise, like you could put it all together that um, my nephew's been living with me for uh, almost two years now. And um, it's just been a blessing. It's 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 been a major, major, major blessing. And this is his final year of high school. He's turning 18. He'll be graduating. And um, he already has all together a combined four offers um, <laughs> to, to different colleges uh, for football and stuff. And t there's not enough time. I finally get, oh God, I finally get uh, what parents go through. Cause that's what I've been. I've been a mentor. I've been an uncle. I've been a dad. I've been a therapist. Um, I, I've been all things that I can be for him. And um, it just reminds me of the time that I live in Atlanta uh, with my sister and just helping out with the kids and my nieces and nephew and just remembering how I felt when I left Atlanta to move back to Florida and it just crushed me. I, I, I felt like I was leaving my, my 
my kids behind. I will go to the hardware store, bitch, and get a chainsaw and take this tree down, girl, period. Like, come on. I know y'all probably like, girl, you can just park somewhere else. Girl, I'm, I'm, you know how it is, girl. You sit on the couch, you, you ain't getting up for a while, especially if your show is on. Bitch, I ain't moving. I'm here, I'm comfortable. It's a cute little parking spot. Girl, whatever. But I will cut this tree down. The same way when I was in middle school when that bird shitted on me, girl, I hunted down every bird I can see. Even though you, you'll never win against a bird because they, they can take flight, girl, very quickly. <laughs> Bitch, but I tried. Girl, I will seek out revenge. Stop it. And to this day, I'm very paranoid about birds being around me. That's the reason I don't like parking under trees, because they love to use your car as target practice for their shit bombs. But anyway, because um, I don't have much time for I got to get in here and get my seat, child. You know, I don't like crowds, so I try to get in a little early before everybody else. Anyway, um, but yeah, like... I don't know the, you know, we've grown so attached. We've gotten really close over the years. And obviously when, when you're living with people, you, you get even more closer. And uh, just the bond that we forged is beyond breakable, you know? And, uh, but just knowing that the time is coming to where he will be setting out on his own life journey. And, uh, you know, forging his own path child and living his best life and I just really hope and pray and I have no doubt I have no doubt that he will achieve and accomplish all the things that he sets forth for himself because one thing I love about him and I love about his energy is that he's a manifester and he also has an amazing third eye um, reminds me of myself when I was younger I was awakened early I was able to see the forest through the trees early. I was able to sense energy, vibrations, and frequencies. I was able to just clock the bullshit before it could even come from around that corner, you know? And I just love the young man that he has grown in, grown up to be. And I that's why I have full confidence in the road ahead for him. Because, like to bear witness. And I know a lot of people say this about their kids. My kid is this and my kid is And that's true. But this is the T. Like to, I have so much faith for the heterosexual black male community because of my nephew. Like the way that he thinks, like he's one of those people that he doesn't join the collective way of thinking. You know, y'all know I love that type of shit. I go up for an independent thinker, someone who, you know, <laughs> brings their own thought process to conversations and topics and, you know, world issues and things of that nature. He's not going to join in on your group. He's going to think for himself. And um, I love that. And like I said, he's a manifester. Like, he works very hard for what he wants. You know, he knows where he comes from. Hello, God, he remembers that. He, he knows um, what it takes to be successful. Um, he has, there are no blinders on at all. Like this boy is wide awake. Um, and it's just, an, it's amazing to see um, his kindness, his passion, his uh, caring nature, his strength, his willingness to not be afraid to be vulnerable. Um, again, just <laughs> the things that we've talked about, the things that we've gone through with one another and just me trying to be a good mentor, a good life coach, so to speak. And, um, you know, he said something to me that was something that bring, that brought even more reassurance that he's going to be okay. He told me, he said, you know, what's crazy is I find myself walking through life and making decisions based off of your voice in my head. <laughs> like, you know, he joked around and said it's sometimes annoying, but he was like, I, what would my uncle do? You know, what would... You know, and it's like my voice in his head, like breathing positivity in him, encouragement and, and making the right decisions and not allowing dark moments or, you know, a moment of despair or, or you know, <clears throat> doubt or, or anything like that hinder him. And even just making friends and, you know, the, the, the kind of girls to talk to, like, you got to be careful, especially on the road that he's on, child, like 
these little hoes out here will try it. They have tried it. Hello, God. Um, but he's he, he doesn't always need me because I saw it for myself from the beginning. You know that he can handle anything that's thrown at him. You know what I'm saying? But child, when you young and um, that pussy is thrown at you, child. I, I huh, Hello. Hello. It, it's hard. <laughs> It, it can get hard, girl. Your decision-making skills, your cloud, your judgment is going to be cloudy. When you're a teenager, hormones are raging, and these little hoes is, is throwing hot puss on you, you know. But he's highly intelligent. He does not let any of that rule him or guide his thinking. Like, that's, I love this young man um, beyond, beyond, beyond. Like, it, it's, I, that's why I have so much faith. Like, we need a young man like him um, for the for the for the next generation, because at this moment, the black male spaces are so toxic and raggedy as fuck um, that I'm ready for that shit to turn to dust. That way, young men like him can take over and show other young men that it's OK. Hello, God. It's it's OK to love everybody. It's OK to respect everybody, even if you don't agree with it, you know. There have been plenty of times where he's told me stories of his friends, you know, they just have these weird conversations and they talk about people sometimes and he's the one to stand up and, you know, why are you so bothered by that? You know, like he's really like serving many truth and justice. <laughs> and you all know I love that type of shit. Hello, God. You know I love it. So, um, yeah. And uh, I'm just so, I'm proud of him. I'm really proud of him. And um, if he does watch this, because sometimes he watches my videos. Hey, child, he be so busy with football now. When the season's in, don't nothing else matter, child, but football. It's always football. And uh, I just wish that I would have had at least a small inkling of what I wanted to do when I was his age. Because maybe, you know, because he's been training for years since he was a little, little boy. So it just makes me wonder, like, hmm, like, what if I would have known what I wanted to do earlier in life, right? Would I be better off right now, you know? If, if you know, especially when you surround yourself with people that allow you, you know, space and opportunity and they and encourage you to hone your skills, you know what I mean? It's always a blessing to have support on your side. Amen. Also, you know, going back to what, you know, me and him had talked about with the whole going into decisions with my voice in his head and him thinking about what I would do, what type of decision I would make in this situation. It, it takes me back to what I always talk about with um, proper communication and parental guidance um, when dealing with children. Do y'all not see how important that is, you know, to speak, to breed life and positivity and encouragement and, and, and just love and, and compassion and understanding to your children? Because they, they're going to lean on, hello, God, the dominant voice. Hello, God. And a lot of times those dominant voices in fucked up situations could be negative in nature, could be pure evil. You got a lot of people that unknowingly speak evil spells and curses onto their children based off the energy, the attitude and what and how you're saying to your child. So imagine if I was an evil bitch, right? If I was a toxic, raggedy motherfucker and all I spoke to him was negativity. Oh, you ain't going to be shit. <laughs> Or you ain't going to have this or you're not going to accomplish this and you're this and you're a little piece of shit or you're this or you're that. That would have been the voice, hello God, that carried him or that would have buried him. Hello. Because a lot of y'all be out here help, hmm, slowly killing y'all kids with the words that you use towards them, with the feelings and the emotions that you use towards them. Hello. Hmm. That's why a lot of children walk around here depressed, feeling void, um, devoid of life. They have no energy. They have no sustenance to carry them. You got a lot of kids out here who fall by the wayside of life because they're not being spoken to in kind words. 
there's no one there to actually uplift them and be positive and, and to understand. That's how a lot of kids get manipulated into doing wrong, into going down the wrong path. Nobody cares. Why should I do the right thing? Nobody supports me. No one encourages me to do the right thing. I tell people this all the time. Young people secretly desire, hello God, structure. I tell the kids at my job all the time, like once you show that consistency, you know, constru structure shows that you care. When you put up a restriction or a limit to what a child can and cannot do, when you, and not just put it up, explain why you're restricting them, why they're being punished, or why there's a limit to this, or why they can't do or say what the fuck they please, right? Once you start showing that consistency, they'll start to fall in line. I had an issue at my job recently where this young boy was doing the fucking most outbursts, violent behaviors, all because of something so little and stupid. But I realized that it what he wasn't fighting me because of the little stupid thing. There was something behind that. He didn't like authority. He didn't like people trying to tell him what to do. He thought that people wanted to run his life. But we had a conversation. He still hated me, but that behavior stopped. It ceased. Let me tell you. It ceased. Now, I don't have that same problem with that child anymore at all. Because I now, one time I told him to stop. If I, if I would have just let him do what he wanted after that, girl, it would have created a motherfucking monster, bitch. But I say all of that to say that kids desire that. In the same way they desire that they decide that they desire for you to show up with them when it comes to love, when it comes to support, when it comes to being understanding. You know, we talk about this all the time on this platform where a lot of y'all kids don't feel open because you're not open. You're closed off. You don't show your child that this environment is conducive to their needs. It's conducive to their vulnerability that they can actually break down and have conversation. They can trust you with even the most shameful of things that they probably have done in their life. Got a lot of young people that do a lot out here in these here streets, girl. But these motherfuckers ain't having open conversation. They're not telling you about it. So you can't warn them. You can't even, you're, you're not even in a position to give them the advice that they need to get through whatever it is they're going through. You know? They're not going to come to you, so you're not aware. So then when your child gets caught up in some foolishness, now you're aware of it, but from the negative standpoint, you're hearing this from someone else other than your child. So you're going to judge them. You're going to come down harder on them. When that school calls you, you, you get surprised. Oh, shit, I didn't know. But if you would have actually cultivated that relationship with your child beforehand... You ain't got to wait to the school to call you because your child going to come home and say, hey, you know, I messed up today in class or I skipped class today because of X, Y, and Z. Or, you know, this teacher was disrespectful, so I had to check that bitch. Because sometimes you have to check these bitches out here. Okay, y'all hear the band in the background. Hey, hey. And these high school bands have not been playing no games lately, girl. That's it? What kind of school spirit is that, girl? That's why y'all gonna lose. My nephew's team is gonna wear y'all the fuck out. Hello, God. Period. Um, in, in, in recognition of his birthday, I'm gonna throw his cash app up here. If y'all just wanna secretly bless him, because he don't even know I'm doing this video. He probably ain't gonna watch this video. But um, if y'all wanna see, he'll be, girl, let them cash apps start rolling in. He's gonna be like, who the fuck is this? Where is this coming from? Where is this? That'll be a nice little birthday surprise for him, y'all. So feel free to bless him on the cash app, child, okay? Yes. <laughs> I'm just so, oh. Uh... And doing all this makes me want to have kids, but then, you know, my brother just had a newborn baby, and girl, the wiping of ass and the constant, like, worry, like, because I'm a worry ward. I couldn't be one of those parents that work and take care of a newborn because no, I got to take the whole nine weeks off. Actually, bitch, I need to take the whole couple years off because I'll be just so worried. 
So go ahead and just, you know, you could drop a teenager in my life. You know, I might actually adopt one day a teenager. I don't want no newborns. I can't do all that. I can't. Mm -hmm. Someone else can deal with those first stages, but I, I can't. My blood pressure would be through the fucking roof. And I require sleep, okay? At least teenagers can make their own breakfast. They can get themselves dressed, take their own showers, girl. Like, you could pretty much <laughs> leave them to their own devices, okay? Not no damn uh, babies and anybody under the age of 10, okay, in my opinion. But, um, let me know. Drop down in the comment section to all the parents out there, to everybody who's, you know, taking care of somebody. I just want to know, like, am I alone? And it's like, I know I'm not alone in this. Like, I just, I'm sad because I know that that time is coming, but I'm very proud. I'm very happy. I'm very excited for him. Um, walking into adulthood, girl. Walking into the path of adulthood is not easy. And um, I know you got some people out there that think that when kids get 18, they're on their own. No, let me tell you something. My nephew, the kids, period, will always have somewhere to come to. You will always be able to talk to me. You will always be able to have a home here. Um, I don't feel that 18 makes you grown, grown like that. Legally speaking, yes. But um, everything else, no, you're always going to need your parents. You're always going to need that, that figure in your life. Hello, God. Um, because the questions of life will never stop. I'm 35 years old and I still have questions. I just have no parents. I have no guiding light on that level, you know, to, to give me that. So I'm glad that I can be that for him. And um, I hope he knows that how much I love him and how much I care for him and how much that I'm just so proud of the young man that he's definitely, that he's become girl. Like, I just am so proud of that. Um, a lot of toxic male behaviors out here, especially within his generation. And for him to get through it unscathed, you know, for him to be able to come through that and still be kind, to still be, you know, just all the things that we, we want our kids to grow up to be, girl. Kind, compassionate, caring, all the things. Strong-minded, witty, because he's extremely smart extremely smart I just you know <laughs> I'm glad I didn't cry because I before I made this video I was thinking in my head like are you gonna cry because I that's all my mind has been going towards like this year is coming to an end everything is happening so quickly graduations coming up prom all the things like and then knowing that college more than likely he will be going out of state for college like it's going to be hard like the first couple of months. Probably just period overall. Y'all know me. I, I have emotional intelligence and I don't mind crying. I don't mind telling how I feel. And he knows that. He, he We talk about this and he's like, man, stop being, stop crying. Stop crying. I'm like, mm, uh, you're going to be crying too, trust me. <laughs> you're going to be crying too. And, and, and it'll be under, it'll be tears of joy. There'll be tears of happiness, tears of, you know, sometimes I think we, we got to learn to let go without letting go. Because I'm never letting go. Never letting go. But I'll let loose enough for you to be able to live your life, make your own decisions, and just to let you know that I will always be here um, to answer the questions. I will always be here to help guide you. If I don't have the answer, I'll find the answer, bitch. You know? Um, and shout out to my nieces and nephew up in Georgia, child. Um, spoke to my niece, Janae, not too long ago. Shout out to you, baby. Um, and you just got to breathe love and encouragement to the kids, child. And she's a whole grown woman now, but huh, we still have conversations. And I love the fact that, you know, the kids, they know if they need a conversation, if they need a listening ear, if they need some good advice, you know who you can call on. I'm always here. I'm always here. Hello. And I'm, I'm not as judgmental as I used to be. I'm way more understanding now, and because I I remember where I come, I remember my youth. <laughs> I remember all of that. So I'm not above the mistakes of life. I'm not above making fucked up decisions. I'm not above any of the things that a lot of the young folks are going through now. I truly understand, and I think that's why, um, you know, the young folks come to me and they talk. 
you know, <clears throat> even though I'm at my brother's house sometimes and all the kids are over there, I sometimes sit in the room with the kids, we talk, we laugh, you know, they share, you know, what's going on in their life, and they're not ashamed. No matter how crazy the stories are, they're not ashamed to, to tell me what's going on. Little boyfriends, little girlfriends, you know, whatever. You know, we can talk about it. No, bitch, uncle is cool. We can talk, and he's gonna, he's not going to leave that room without giving us some headstrong advice, bitch, period. And that's the thing with kids now. Sometimes they don't even want you to talk. They just want you to listen. They want to pick your brain. They want to make sure that they're not walking into situations being foolish. And they just need to vent. And that's something I'm working on too, not giving my two cents in every situation. Okay. Do, will I need my umbrella, girl? Because I don't want to walk in here with an umbrella and I really don't fucking need it. Okay. But anyway, that's all I have. That's all I really wanted to talk about today. Um, look out. More videos um, coming this weekend, girl. We have a lot of things to get into. I might go live. I don't know. It just depends on what's going on. It's been a long time. It's been a few months since we've been live. So... There's a lot of things that I would like to get into and nip it all in one one piece of bud, girl, okay? And um, so we can just address it all at once. But again, shout out to my nephew. And um, y'all show y'all love in the comment section. You know, shout him out. His name is Elijah. <laughs> uh, all right, y'all. Be blessed and never stressed. Uh, remember that health is truly wealth. And um, take care.